quick. What's up YouTubers? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a blue liner that's gonna shock your fans. I'm wearing this blue eyeliner that's a super bright pop of color. Um, great for every day or the night or whatever you want to do. Um, I hope you enjoy this hair. This is a post-workout outfit and I was like, they're not watching it for my outfit. They're watching it for my makeup, dude. Are we going? Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Shake it, uh, uh, uh. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. And lose, lose. Shake it, baby doll. Shake it on the floor. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Mom, stop texting me. I'm trying to make a video. All right. First things first, I'm the realist. Oh, let me get comfortable. I'm in this brew tank. Why didn't I get set up before I started this video? All right, first things first. Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in the color Eden. Let's zoom you in a little bit. Can you see me? Yeah, hey there. Hey there, lady. What's cooking, good looking? Hello, lady. I already have some mascara and some eyebrows because it's eight o'clock at night and Let's be real, I didn't go through the whole day without eyebrows. Because nobody should do that. Nobody, and I mean nobody, should be doing that. Morphe E8 brush buff in that eyeshadow primer. All right, we're gonna set that shadow with a bone color shadow with the Urban Decay Middle and Matte Palette because that's my favorite right now. Just hit those lids real quick one time. Set that shadow. Get a nice base all over that lid. I really hope my camera doesn't die halfway through this. Why is it in a bag of like only maybe 20 brushes? It takes me five minutes to even find them. All right, Morphe. <gasps> Morphe E10, and I'm using just a nice warm transition color. Just buff that right into the crease, just to make me look like I have one. Just to make it look like I have a crease. Do you have a crease? All right, the infamous Don 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 Morphe 350 palette. In a nice little, I need a mirror. Wouldn't that be sick if Morphe had an entire mirror on the top of their palettes? Like that would be, that would be a mirror. That would be like the mirror of all mirrors. Mirror is a weird word now that I've said it so many times. That's weird. It's so weird when you start saying words more than once and then it's like mirror, mirror. 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 And you're like, what am I even saying anymore? What is this word I keep saying? Now I'm gonna go in with Morphe M441. And I'm just gonna take, there's this nice orangey shade. Where is it? Right there. I'm gonna take that orange shade and I'm just gonna make it a little bit warmer in the crease. Just make it a little bit warmer. You ever see people use their makeup brushes and they like make the bristles like like super bent and you're like, ah, oh, you're hurting the brush, dude. You don't have to push that hard on it. I gotta go get setting spray. Ow! Ow! I just hit my shin so freaking hard. <laughs> oh, I just saw stars. <sighs> Breathe through. For my next trick, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna take that same Morphe brush, the M441. I'm gonna take just a darker brown, probably one of these like 50 million darker browns in this area. And I'm just going to do it right on the outer corner of my lid, just to warm up the very edge to give my eyelid a little dimension. I'm gonna make it a little tighter. So just on that very edge, outer corner, from lash to crease, and then just taking the excess and brushing it through the crease. Don't make your brush do that weird thing. I wish I had an S books right now. Please ignore the fact that I have these neon pink lips. I was wearing a really, really, really 
dark lipstick earlier and whenever it came off it turned my pink my lips my what my pink my oh my gosh my lips hot pink it's called a foiled eyeshadow brush it is specifically for this job like that's cool i'm gonna spray it with a little bit of urban decay setting spray urban decay setting spray and then i'm going in with this pink Woo! you can see that shimmer right from here that pink shimmery shadow i'm just gonna do it all over my lid Uh, something really weird is happening with my washer. All right. One thing about these, this foiled shadow though, is it does have a little bit of fallout boy. Fallout boy? I just said fallout boy. <laughs> a little bit of fallout, but that's okay with me. If it's okay with you. All right. This video is going to be how many times can you get up and down out of your seat? All right. Next, I'm using this Sephora. You've got to be kidding me! All right, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Gel Liner. And I'm not creating a super huge wing, just a little baby wing, just to make this a little bit spicy. All right. Is it just me or does anybody else hold their breath while I do that? We're gonna move on to the face. So let me zoom you out a little bit. Let me zoom you out a little bit so we can do my whole face. So I already prepped and primed with the Nivea Post Shave Balm. <clears throat> and today, for the first time, I'm using the NYX Total Control little droplets. Um, I'm in the color light, but there is an alabaster one that is too white for me. So props to NYX for making some color range up in here. Am I right? Yeah, boy. So I don't really know how you're supposed to put this on your face. Like it's, it's like in a little medicine dropper. Like how am I supposed to get this on your face? So I'm just gonna like, and then I'm gonna buff it into my skin. Oh, okay coverage. Okay coverage. Okay, coverage. So I'm just using a, what is this? Morphe 439 brush. And I bought this because Jaclyn Hill told me to. She called me up and was like, hey, Linz, I know you're looking for a makeup brush. Uh, uh. Uh, I think I'm darker than the color light. Okay, so foundation take two. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the color 202, which I think is my actual color, and a damp beauty blender. See, that's what happens when you try new things. I was really skeptical, and I was like, you know what? Why try a new foundation? When the Pro Glow never lets you down, son. And I was like, oh, but it could be cool and it's not expensive, so why don't you try it? Nope. But props to NYC for making some light colors, man. My chest did get a little bit tan, though, because I went outside for once in my life. But that's okay. Just bronze up your face. You don't want your face to look too dark. That's when it looks weird, because then it looks like you have, like, a mustache. Next, I'm going to go in with some... Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair. Run right underneath those eyes. In a diamond formation. I say, I say, all day, all day. I say, all day, I say. Tarte Shape Tape is the best invention there ever was. It covers everything, dude. Like, if you have any kind of dark circle, it's gone. All right, next I'm gonna hit my under eye with a little Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, just to keep that foundation on all day. Even though it's eight o'clock at night, but you know. I'm gonna let that dry for a moment and I'm gonna touch up those eyebrows because they got, you know, weird whenever I did 
new foundation twice. So I'm using Cabral in the number three. I absolutely love, love, love this eyebrow stuff. I feel like people are really hard on their eyebrows. Like sometimes I'm like, some people are like, oh, I hate my eyebrows. They look so bad today. And I'm like, they always look like that. And I'm like, are you saying my eyebrows always look bad? I'm like, no, but they do always look like that. You know? We all have friends like that. All right, some Makeup Geek Contour Powder. Yes, ma'am. I'm using Morphe 557. Contour that nose. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Whoa. Next, I'm going to go with the Morphe N9 blush palette. This is the only blush I've ever need, ever. It has every color. I'm just using the two really light colors. Just going to pounce that on my cheeks really quick. Just to make me look a little more flush. A little more color. So I don't look too pale. All right, I'm gonna chisel out those cheekbones really quick with a little Laura Mercier right along the bottom. Just to get a nice clean line. Really makes it look professional, I think. You know, like you got your makeup done by somebody who's a professional. A professional. Now for the star of the show, the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm doing blue eyeliner. Okay, I'm using the bluest blue you've ever seen right there in the Kat Von D Metal and Matte Palette. Really, just any neon blue will work. And I'm just going to run that right along the lower lash line. I'm also using an eyeliner brush from Eco Tools. So this is the star of the show, so don't be shy. You want to make sure that you can actually see it, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, now I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I feel weird saying that. I'm just going to hit those top and bottom lashes again. I already had mascara, so I'm not going to put too much. Now I'm going to brush off this baked beard. I'm jumping all over the place today, son. I didn't even highlight my face yet. Who am I? Okay, I'm going to use... Becca Cosmetics, of course, my favorite highlighter ever, and the Morphe 501 brush. Just hit the top of those cheekbones real quick. And down the nose, Cupid's bow, a little forehead, just to make you look a little shiny. Yeah, we want to look shiny these days. Shiny in the right places, not here or around the nose, you know. All right. Next, I'm going to hit it with the lashes. I'm using Ardell Wispies, my go-to drugstore lash because it never fails me. The band is just so flexible on these. I feel like it makes it so comfortable. One lash down, one lash to go. This has some residual glue. I feel like I say residual way more than the average person. I'm going to need to go over the band with some liner because it's a little light. Alright, so I popped on some lashes. I covered up that lash band with a little bit of that black liner. Ah, I some liner. And I put on some Rimmel London. Where is it? Rimmel London number 14. My favorite lip color ever. Ever. Favorite lip color ever. This is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you wear this blue liner out on the town, people. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.